I, I, I'm hearing this. There, there is a young man here. Is it CSI? CSI. Your name is Donald. 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 Your father died. Your father died. And his ashes, they incriminated your father. His ashes is still back in the village. His name was Douglas. Your mother is Lindy Way. If you are here, I want you to come. I want you to come. Donald, if you are here, Donald, I want you to come. Somebody help me. Donald, you are here. Donald, I want you to come. Donald. If you are here, Donald, I, wanna, I want you to come. Where is he? I want you to come. Hallelujah. It is well. It is well. It is well. In the name of Jesus. It is well. With my soul today. What's your name? What's your name? Donald. Your name is Donald. Yeah. Donald. Donald. Was your father Douglas? Yes. Did he die? Yes. When did he die? Uh, July 2005. In July 2005? Yeah. They did not bury him. They incriminated him. They burned him. Burned yeah. his body. Yes. They kept the dust or the ashes in the... Uh, it's a calabash. A calabash. Yeah. Is that, is that true? Yes. Do now, Douglas, your father, July 2005, Lindy Way and the family of your father, the brothers of your father, they say this is not normal. This death is not a normal natural death. He, for one week, was complaining of migraine, headache, and then he died. So they did a ritual. And it is the ritualist that say they should not bury him. They should incriminate his body. How many are you in the family? Uh, we are four. Are you the only boy? Yes. Are you the last one? Yes. You are the last boy in the family of four. Four. I am seeing memory, I'm seeing melody, I am seeing Masha. They are my sisters. Those are your sisters. Yeah. Melody, memory, melody, and Masha. Yes. Those are your sisters. Yes. Now, the reason why I am speaking to you is because the ritual that was done, the ritual that was done, instructed by the ritualist, over the body of your father because your mother Lindiwe and the brothers of your father, meaning your uncles, had instructed the body may be incriminated. They had said it is to protect you and to open doors for you. But right now, as I stand and looking at you, it doesn't look like your life is going anywhere. Yes. Things are not moving forward. Is yes. that correct? Yes, correct. Even your own sisters, Memory, you used to stay with memory in Berea, but memory is now in Cape Town. She is trying her best. Is that correct? Yes. Have you ever spoken to me before? No. You have never spoken to me before? No. Now, I'm trying to help you, and this is very important. I'm doing this not because I want to display any show or mm. perform something. This is God remembering somebody. Thank you, Jesus. And I want you to know if God will remember him, just like he remembered others, you are in the list of I God for a miracle. It. Lift your hand, say, I receive what is mine. I receive what is mine. Now, you are here since 2005. The ashes of your father is at home. They kept it there. The ritualists that instructed that it may be so had said that uh, you being the last boy and the last born in the family needs protection. 
because few things are happening in your father's side of the family. Yes. Do you understand? Yes. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. But I am praying today that it may not catch you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Somebody, wherever you are, lift your hand. Say, I am covered. I am covered. Say, no weapon formed against me. No weapon formed against shall me. Shall prosper. Shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I don't want to create trouble in your family. Amen. But I'm warning somebody. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I say, I don't want to create trouble in your family, but I am warning somebody. Mm -mm. Amen. Sure. Whoever wants your downfall will fall before you. Fire. Who am I talking to? I say, whoever wants your downfall will fall before I you. I receive it. I say again, whoever wants your downfall will fall before you. I receive In the name of, of Jesus. Jesus. Amen. I am right now wondering, should I tell you, should I not tell you? The name of Jesus. Free in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. I say free in the name of Jesus. In the name. If you are of seated Jesus. and you can stand, please stand up, lift your hand. Yahweh. We lift the name of Jesus. Yes, he is Yahweh. Robo Soto. In a few seconds, speak to him. You are Yahweh. 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 spirit of prayer there is somebody you are watching me right now I am seeing you you are very big you are seated and you are watching me but you can't breathe by yourself you're suffering of an acute asthma it started small you here and there used to use a small pump here but now they have said that you can't do 
without the, the, the bottle. As you're watching me, you're crying right now because you know I'm speaking to you. The Lord is telling me, this is not what he wants in you. And you are not crossing to the next season. Somebody Having this problem in you him. in the name of Jesus. Amen. You can't walk because of short of breath. If you are here or around the world, you're also suffering on any uh, asthma-related disease. You have a breathing problem. As I'm praying for this precious daughter of God, I want you to touch your lungs and believe God with me that a miracle will take place in your life. Jesus. Zato reka to soto. Receive your healing. May you receive the breath of God. Amen. <laughs> Jesus. May you be healed right now. I receive. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I want you to remove the mask. I want you to try to stand. And I want you to slowly try to walk. Rika. I believe in the name of Jesus. You Hallelujah. are healed. Yeah. Somebody Glory. celebrate Jesus Glory. Christ. For this miracle. Hallelujah. Oh, oh God. There is a woman, your name is Bijou, Bijou, Bijou. You are watching us. Bijou, you are crying over your husband. He is in jail. You believe that he is falsely accused. And you've been praying. You say to the Lord, if you will bring him out before the end of this year and reunite us as a family, my life will be completely consecrated in serving you. Yeah. Hear me from Johannesburg, South Africa, in Hallelujah ministry standing on the altar of God. I am declaring that uh, before tomorrow is over, Glory your husband is coming back home. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. Your husband is, somebody celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. He's coming back home. God has heard your cry. Glory, glory. God has heard your cry. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Zorobosea. Riaba. Oh God. Jesus. There, there is somebody here. You're a pastor. Your name is Shadrach. They call you Pastor Shadrach. You are here, Pastor Shadrach. You are a general overseer, the general overseer of Grace Ministries in Tokoza. In Tokoza. Pastor Shadrach, if you are here, not if, please come, Pastor Shadrach. Glory. Glory to Jesus. Pastor Shadrach. And Omega. Stretch my hands towards you. Mm. May the eyes of the Lord be on you. I, I decree it. and I declare a new dawn in 
happening in your life today. I receive a new dawn is happening in your life in the name today. Of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Sato Roboshia. Lift your hands and say, My life will never be the same again. My life will never be the same again. Say again, my life will never be the same again. My life will never be the same say, again. The blessings of God are mine. The blessings of God are mine. Say, my children are blessed. My children are blessed. If you are a grandmother or grandfather, say, my grandchildren are blessed. My grandchildren are blessed. Say, my family is blessed. My family is blessed. Say, we are under the blood of Jesus. We are under the blood of Jesus. Say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. Now, look at me. I see you. They had complotted against you. They have done literally everything they could do against you. Now, as I stand, things are not as you would want them to be. But I'm hearing God speaking to you, son of God. Remember, it is I, the Lord your God, who brought you this far. And I did not bring you this far to leave you. I will fulfill that which I spoke unto you. I will do exactly what I had promised to do in your life. Amen. So fear not, my son. Lift up your eyes. Walk tall, for I am your God. And I go before you and make a, a, the crooked way straight for you. I now sorry. I am speaking to you, son of God. You know what the enemy is doing. You are wondering, Lord, why? Why are you far? God is speaking to you and saying, if I was really far, you will not be here today. Right. The reason why you are still standing is because I am the Lord your God. Thank you, Jesus. May I stand as an authorized mouth of God in your life and declare, no weapon formed against you shall prosper I was in the name of Jesus. Jesus. So shall it be. Look at me. Are you a pastor? Yes. You are Pastor Shedrach. Yes. Is that right. you? That's true. The general overseer of Grace Ministries. That's true. Is that you? Yes, that's me. Are you in Tokosa? Yes, that's where I stay. Have you ever spoken to me before? No. You have never spoken to me before? It's my first time here. Is your first time here? Yes. Glory to Jesus. Hey, God insisted that I may call you. God gave you a name. He told me about your ministry. Damn. And he said he led you here. That's because true. right now, pastor, general overseer, things are not as they're supposed to be for you. They are not. They are not. They are not moving. Do you know Rosemary? Yes, she's you know, my, my wife. Rosemary is your wife. Yes. Where is she now? We separated. You separated? Yes. Rosemary separated with you. How many children do you have? Four. You have four children? Yes. With Rosemary? Yes. Four children. This is a general overseer of a ministry here in Johannesburg in South Africa, Tokosa. His ministry is called Grace Ministries. Is, am I right? Yes, you are right. Oh, his name is Pastor Shadrach. It's the first time that he's here. The Spirit of the Lord told me that there is a pastor here. His name is Pastor Shadrach. And God said you should bring him in. Before even going back to the pulpit there, you should bring him. I am doing something in his Glory life. Glory to Jesus. He, I have to do something. If God doesn't do things, what you want to do now, things will be difficult. Now, let me help. Can I speak to you? Yes, you can. Can I speak into your life? Yes. Will you speak back to me? I will. You have to. I promise. Because I can see the picture now. <laughs> Pastor, born on the 21st of August, 21st of July, because I see blessing born on the 21st of August. That's my son. That's your son? Yes. 
Blessing was born on the 21st of August, 1998. Yes. You were born on the 21st of July. Is that correct? That's true. Your wife was born on the 3rd of May, 1980. That's true. Her name is Rosemary. Yes. That's and true. Rosemary, you say, left you. Yes. You brought it upon yourself. Your first son, Blessy, born on the 31st of July, 1998. Brandon, the second one, born on the 4th of June, 2001. Is that correct? That's true. The third one, Brian. Is that correct? Amen. Amen? Yes. Brian, born on the 4th of May, 2004. Is that correct? That's true. I am seeing Ayanda. Who's Ayanda? I'm seeing Ayanda. Do you know Ayanda? Yes. Who's Ayanda? It's my daughter. Ayanda, your daughter, was born on the 26th of December, 2006. Is that your family? Yes, that's my family. Correct. My name is Aflu Kau. <laughs> right now, as I speak to you, God is about to turn your life around. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. But you see, as I say, the reason why nothing is happening is because you have caused it. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's true. What did you do? I was speaking bad about you. <laughs> about me. Jesus is Lord. Wait a minute. Look, I, I didn't know what you did in this detail. I knew that you brought it upon your son. So, yeah. you, what did you do? I was spreading rumors that you are a fake prophet. <laughs> you're a pastor like me. You're a general overseer of your own ministry. Yes. In Tokozo. Grace Ministries. Yes. What did I do to you? Nothing. It was just the miracles you were doing didn't look so real. They oh. looked like magic or, oh. you know. All right. All right. So, I didn't do anything to you, but you say miracles you saw me doing or you saw God doing through me did not look real to you. Yes. It looked like magic. Yes. But so, then... I had a dream. Okay. In May, I dreamt of this guy who was driving a white car. He brought a picture of you. And he said, leave this man alone. But I just thought it was a dream. And then I continued what I was doing. On my birthday, when we celebrated my birthday, soon after, that's when my church started splitting. And then things started turning back. Last week, I also dreamt of you calling me to come and you said, I forgive you, my son. I want you to come. Somebody! Good God. Merciful God. All right. Now, now since I got here, I didn't have this power when I got here because the anointing left me when I spoke of the man of God. 
But today I feel like it's been restored because I saw God here. Glory to Jesus. I, I, I'm trying to, to, to just digest and make sense of it. God asked me to call this pastor. He gave me his name and insisted that I'm going to call him. I called him. And you say, you had four children. You have four children. I asked about Rosemary. He says, your wife. Yes. And I see in the list the names and the birth dates. Did you ever speak to me? No. Did you tell what I told you? Did you tell anybody here? No. All right. So, and God say that uh, the reason why Rosemary has left is because you brought it upon yourself. Not really revealing the details of it. I knew you brought it upon yourself. So I ask you, what did you do? And you say, I spoke bad about you. Hey. Now, I ask, what did I do? Nothing. What did I do? I stand to preach Jesus. Demonstrate his power. Leading hundreds of thousands every week and month to the Lord. Thank you. Emptying hell and filling up heaven. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There will be millions of people in heaven simply because of our obedience on earth. That's right. What did I do? You say, it's because the miracle I see you do seems unreal. They look like magic. That's what you say. Yes. As a pastor. <laughs> they look magic. Hey. All right. So you, you, you are justified in your conscience when you're attacking or you, you say you're spreading rumors. Yes. Spreading rumors means that you've been telling people That's he's a fake true. prophet. Yes. Yeah. Who, were you pay, paid for that after you tell them they give you a tip or you're no, telling them just, for free? It was just me talking. So you're telling them that guy is not real because, not because he insulted you, not because his doctrine is not God, uh, godly, simply because you saw some miracles and you deem them not to be real. You it's fake. I think it's magic. Is that correct? Yes. Then you say you had a dream in May. Is it May? Yes, in May. Someone in the car with a picture of me and say, leave this man alone. Yes, that's true. Is that correct? That's correct. But you didn't listen. I didn't. I thought it was just a dream. You thought it was just a dream. Yes. Hear me. Mm -hmm. My name is Aflokan. Oh, Glory to Jesus. If Jesus Christ was alive, resurrecting the dead, walking on the water, you probably would have also called him fake. Right. You probably would have said it's magic. Mm -hmm. If you were in the time of Elijah hey. and you see him in front of the prophet of Baal and Asherah calling on fire and fire coming down, probably you would have said magic. The witness you should have as a man of God, I'm trying to have somebody out there, you should be inside when you seek God. Not here. That's right. Look at this. Hear me. Fire is not flower. Hey. It burns. You'll be no. It's for real. You don't play with a sword. Mm -hmm. It cuts. Now you were, you were warm. And you say, a week later I appeared in your dream. Yes. And I said to you, come to church. 
Yes. Is there anybody who has seen me in his room? My, my, my daughter here spoke about a dream. Look at the thousands of people. It's a spiritual thing. Look, I devoted my life for one cause, and that is Jesus Christ. I did not even devote my life for Hallelujah Ministries. Now, before I knew Hallelujah Ministries would be my mission, I was in Him. And I've been consistent in what I do. That's right. I say, come, it is over. Now, if you insult me, look, I'm still nice. Uh -huh. <laughs> I am. Hey! hey. hey. Don't be jealous now. Somebody. Hey, yeah, yeah. Now don't be jealous. Come on. Yeah. Ah, 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 celebrate. Oh God. Your church after your birthday fell apart. Yes. General overseer. Your wife. Paying rent is difficult. That's true. Finance is now difficult. Yes. But you know that's not the will of God for you. That's true. I'm not here to judge you. I'm not here to put you down. No. God brought you here and you say it was through a dream. Let me tell you, I'm just here to do what God said. I think that God loves you so much that he sent you a dream. Yes. He loves you so, so much. Amen. That he used my face to invite you today and he spoke to me. Amen. Do you understand? Yes. And I believe Amen. that you, you, you have a genuine call of God. Amen. Okay? So if you will direct yourself rightfully you will see the glory of God. There are things that are not the same. The Bible speaks about uh, uh, different operations under the same spirit. Some pastors are loud. Some pastors are not loud. But we learn to live with one another. That's right. Some pastors love to be introduced. Uh, be. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hand together for ye. Ye. Whatever. But hear me, the mere fact that I, I may not like to be introduced like that does not make him who is being introduced like that lesser a man of God. That's right. Are you hearing me? There are pastors today who prefer preaching with a jean and a t-shirt showing the biceps and the triceps. Now, if I like putting a suit, it does not make me holier than them. The body of Christ must mature to a place where you do not charge the next person based on things that are not doctrinal. Simple right. things. Look the way he walks. Look the way he speaks. See how people are jumping. That does not take anybody to heaven or hell. That's just a person's personality and a culture of a house. You are called by God. Your calling is genuine. Right now, I'm right speaking to somebody. I you see. are called to be a Paul, but you are a soul. The very thing that you are called to stand for tomorrow, because you missed your encounter, you are persecuting today. Soul of Tarsus. Mm. Before the revelation, Saul persecuted the church. After the revelation, Paul, Saul became Paul. And he was persecuted just like he persecuted the church. I love you. you. Pastor Shedra. Thank you. I love you. I love you too, God. Glory to Jesus. He said, he said that uh, his mission is changed. He will not insult me anymore. Yeah, now, now I will not leave this arena. I have seen great works of God here. 
Glory to Jesus. The son, I love you. It's fine. Okay? That, that was you, your own time. You got your own beating. Don't insult yes. me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> All I have for you is love and I thank God that you love me. Do you love me now? Yes, so much. So much. Mm. Now, can I, can I release grace over your life? Okay. Yes, Father. Help me. Uh, look, financially things are difficult. So that you may know, already this you're supposed to know now. If it was magic, you have tasted it. You will know this is magic or not. That's true. <laughs> but let me be a blessing to you. Amen. Come on, Pastor. I am praying for your ministry. People have left. Today, as I pray for you, the grace of God, the impartation of God will begin to restore you. I receive. Glory to Jesus. From a rent of 4,509 rent, God is moving you to be a landlord. God oh, yes. is blessing. Hallelujah. What is in me, I give to you. Come here. Lift your hand. I release the grace of God. I release the anointing of God. Stretch your hand. Pray for the general overseer of Grace Ministries in Tokoza. Matate tata. Jesus. Bring him up. May God use you. May God bless you. May God receive it. Manifest his power in your life. Everybody shout, I receive my miracle. I receive my miracle.